Hi, this is Dorothy from TaiChiBozeman.com slash RawFoodBlog and from FaveDiets.com. I'm making a cake in a cup today. Carob chocolate, carob or chocolate, and mine's going to be mostly carob. I just put the fourth tablespoon of coconut flour in there. You could also use like flaxseed flour or almond flour where it makes a really good cake. Any kind of non-glutinous flour. And then we'll put two tablespoons of coconut crystals in. There's coconut crystals from the from the flower of the coconut tree. It's coconut crystals taste like brown sugar, but a little bit different and they have like almost neutral pH balance, so they're amazing for you. Very low glycemic. And then two tablespoons of cacao powder or carob. I'm using carob to avoid the caffeine today. Emphasis on today. I never know what I'll do tomorrow. <laughs> and then three tablespoons of your choice of nut or almond milk. So I'm using the coconut milk. Got to have some liquid in there. Two, three. and one tablespoon of psyllium seeds and at this time you could also you could this is the agent that helps it stick together and psyllium so good for you it's the seed that has virtually no calories or fat and it's also good for constipation um, but you could actually use applesauce and applesauce helps it stay together as well and then a tablespoon of cacao nibs and I suppose if you didn't have cacao nibs, you could do like um, broken up little chocolate pieces. Sometimes I'll have chocolate in the freezer with little, um, that are in little pieces, so I'll put them in my thing instead of cacao nibs. So very few ingredients, and then a touch of vanilla powder, and if you didn't have that, you could use a little bit of vanilla extract, probably just like a quarter teaspoon, and a little bit of cinnamon. And this dessert is so great when you just want something, you like you want cake and you want it now. And you want it to be healthy. You want to have something sweet. This is awesome. So then you just stir it together. And I put it in the um, dehydrator for an hour or two until it warms up. And I don't want to stir all that on camera, but here's one I made like a couple days ago and I ate half of it. So this is what it looks like dehydrated. And then you can just, I would normally eat it out of the bowl, but for you guys, I'll turn it onto a little roll there. And then we can put some banana ice cream on top. This banana ice cream has some carob in it and some chocolate sauce. And these other recipes for banana ice cream and chocolate sauce can be found on my other um, YouTube videos for ice cream and chocolate sauce. You can find it under the banana split for interest for example. You could put cherries and coconut and nuts and go wild with this cashew ice cream too. So to your health from Dorothy at TaiChiBozeman.com slash RawFoodBlog and from FaveDiets.com. Enjoy your cake in a cup.